Hello everyone. Recently I've been shopping around on Itch.io. Itch.io is a lot like Steam, except it is there's no corporate oversight. It's not a corporate sort of site. It's it's very much artsy. And so anyone can put their game on it. And everyone does. And Itch.io is pretty good about sorting the games so that downright broken games don't tend to pop up on the front page at all, no matter how far you scroll. But it has so many games, and they're built by people like you and me. Most of them are not built by corporations, uh, not even small studios. And that means that these games are often not very interesting. So I'd like to take a moment and talk about the idea of clones. So I downloaded two games off of Itch.io today. Uh, I paid $10 for each, but uh, they were both pay-what-you-want. Um, so. You can get them for free if you're feeling particularly evil, uh, but you shouldn't. You should pay a couple of bucks if you can. Uh, but basically, the first game I downloaded was 3030 Death War. And it is a very competent space trading game. And you get yourself a little pixel ship and you run around and you do missions and shoot people and buy goods and sell goods. Uh, it's very competent. There's a storyline and everything but it didn't really speak to me very much because I've played that game before. I've played that game at least three times. I played that game in 1992. Um, so when I see that kind of game I think, oh, such a waste because I wanted I, I want to like it. I want to like it. Someone put a lot of effort into that game but it's exactly like every other game I've ever played. So then I downloaded Nout, which is this game and now it makes zero sense. It is a road trip simulator. You're a Martian astronaut, you get in your uh, convertible and you drive around to your neighbor's houses. And all of your neighbors are weird ghost things. They're not like actual people you can talk to. And uh, there's no gameplay to speak of. There's no um, leveling or missions. Uh, it makes no sense, and it never even tries to make sense. Uh, and it didn't take anywhere near as much effort to program as 3030 uh, Death War did. 3030 Death War looks like it took a lot of effort. In contrast, this game has, like, maybe a grand total of eight models, so uh, not a whole lot of not a whole lot of difficulty. All right, what do you have to say for yourself, weird? ghost creature. I met a shaman one day. We spoke for a long time. And it's always like this. When you visit your neighbors, they are ghost creatures that have some kind of almost poetic thing to say, and it never even bothers to try and make sense. And you might think, gosh, this game sounds crappy. And yeah, um, it's not a game that would get a high rating on any kind of game review site. But you know what? Two weeks from now, I'll remember this game. And I actually already forgot 3030 Death War. I had to go, this is my second take, I had to go and look up the title in my first take. Uh, it ruined my first take because I couldn't remember the title of the, the, the game. So, I wanted to say, I know that everyone is inspired by their favorite games, and they want to make their favorite game but better. Um, for example, I was inspired by a lot of role-playing games. I wanted to make Final Fantasy VI, but better. I wanted to make, uh, you know, tabletop AD&D, but better. Um, and to some extent I did those things, but you find out that those things barely matter. Uh, making an exact clone of something is almost pointless. Nobody will remember it. And uh, there are a lot of people who want to clone Minecraft, and now that a lot, of my, a lot of my watchers want to clone Minecraft, there's already a Minecraft. There's already actually about 50 different clones of Minecraft. Um, and none of them are memorable because Minecraft exists. So when you're given the option of cloning your favorite game or creating nonsense that's inspired by your favorite game, I really recommend creating nonsense. Uh, your game is defined by its most interesting feature, and if that most interesting feature is stolen from someone, then um, they're not going to in, they're not going to get any the players aren't going to get anything from your game they're not going to remember it they're not going to feel anything about it because they've already played your source material on the other hand if your game is like this then people will remember it i'm definitely going to remember this game for a lot longer than 3030 death war and 
it makes no sense. It's not well programmed. If you drive long enough, you you can fall off the world into this weird glitch zone. Uh, it's really bizarre, and uh, I'm sure that it took very very little effort in comparison to you know an RPG. So, if you are inspired by Minecraft, or if you're inspired by Final Fantasy 55 or whatever is up. Consider not making a clone of it. Consider making an homage to it or something that's inspired by it. Have I already heard the legend of the sand fox? I wish I could say no and have that person tell me more about the legend of the sand fox. No? You don't want to tell me more about the legend of the sand fox? Oh. Okay, fine. I'll live without the legend of the sand fox. Anyway, that's the basic idea. Please um, don't clone your games unless you're doing it for a business reason. Uh, there is a lot more power in a clumsily written game that has something unique to it than a well-written game that doesn't have anything unique to it. So, that's it. I'll leave the links below and feel free to browse itch.io. Leave your uh, if you if you have games on itch.io that you like, go ahead and. Uh, leave links to them in the comments or talk about them in the comments because I'm always looking for games on itch.io um, it's actually pretty hard to find them because itch.io's sorting algorithm uh, has so much chaff to go through thanks for listening <laughs>